Hey everybody, Sean Kennedy here. Thanks for coming by. Uh, I want to show you this quick tutorial on texture painting and it'll either be kind of like a quick start guide if you've not done it before or it'll be kind of like a re quick refresher of all the major points of the longer texture painting tutorial I've done. If you really want all the details, you should really watch that one. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here I've got an object. First make sure it's got UVs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do smart UV project with an island margin of 0.02 which gives us really nice UVs jump over to shading and I'm going to set up a few things here uh, the first shader is going to be a metal shader actually I'm going to duplicate this because we're going to have a couple uh, first one is going to be metallic and shiny uh, you can go a little shinier we can even go a little bit darker so it looks cool and then this one is going to be a nice pink color that and a little bit sharper or shinier so it looks like a nice shiny paint and then to mix these two we're going to throw in a mix shader right here and plug in this and uh, the paint is going to be on top so when the factor is at one you see the paint and then to reveal that we're going to paint an image to kind of reveal the the uh, metal underneath we're going to make a new image we're going to call it edgeware and we're going to make it a 4K image times 4, enter. And we're going to make it white. And that's it. OK. Plug it into your factor. And there we go. We can just dive in, start painting now. Uh, this is our, uh, over in the texture paint. Uh, this is your map you're looking at. This is your object. Go to material preview. Set your, uh, over here in the panel is uh, the map you're painting on. Here's your brush color. And then a couple important ones are texture mask and texture. I'm going to set the color to black and we go in here and you can see just by painting, we are revealing the metal underneath. Um, we can make that more interesting by throwing in a texture. So I'm going to go new, jump over to the texture panel, grab that new texture. And instead of an imager movie, I make it a cloud, go over here, should pop in, remove it from the texture, but not the texture mask. Now when you move in to start painting, you'll see you get a bit more of a detailed brush. And you can change that brush size with F and the strength with Shift F. That'll let you dial in some, some different looks and some different uh, you know paint adjustments. You can switch to white to, to put paint back if you want because of our the base of our image is white. So it's just like that image is coming back. Uh, and this doesn't look totally real yet. So let's jump into shading. And on this map, at the, after it, we're going to add a converter color ramp. Throw that in. This is going to act as sort of a levels adjustment. Turn that black up. Bring that white down. And you can kind of dial in like a nice kind of crunchy look for it. So it looks kind of worn. So that looks much better. And that'll still update as you paint. When you come over here, uh, drag it back down to black. And as you paint, uh, if you use a lower opacity, it almost looks like it's wearing away in real time. If you use a stronger opacity, it paints it much faster and much stronger. If you paint at this angle, you kind of get these things that look like scratches, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's the basics of that. Uh, if you wanted to say, uh, you can also right click, bring up this palette here so you don't have to always go over to the color panel. And you can bring some, some color back in here, make it a little bit bigger and a little lighter. And there we're going. That's looking pretty good. Um, what else you can do in the shader nodes, you can use this same image to drive a bump map so we can add in a vector bump right there plug that into the height and drag this down to your paint shader plug it into the normal and it already looks pretty good if you want to dial in uh you know if you want to dial it in a little better duplicate this uh color ramp node and we're going to throw it plug it uh plug it in instead and now you've got kind of a a separate image so you can kind of dial in the 
the bump a little bit separately from the reveal mat. And, you know, if it doesn't look real right now, but if you turn this down a lot, it looks a million times better. Looks really nice. Another thing you can do, turn this back up. If you wanted to paint your own bump map, we can go texture, image texture, create a new image, and we'll call this bump. And we'll leave it at 4096. Um, we are going to turn on 32-bit float, and we're going to change it to a gray color. So that way, if you paint... Uh, if you paint with brighter, it'll it'll look like it's going in or coming out. And if you paint with black, it'll look the opposite. And you can have both directions in the same map. So let's plug that into the height. Jump back over to our texture paint. And now you'll see um, we can remove our thing, our, uh, thing for, the same time, for the the texture mask. Make sure you've got your bump selected. And now when you paint on the bump, you can see it's actually just painting the bump map um that looks absolutely horrendous don't do that you can turn it way 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 down and now you can kind of paint a cool bump so we can come in here uh, kind of looks like it's bumping out we don't want that um we can do like a what if we go black paint in we can kind of make it look all dented up on this corner uh yeah that looks pretty cool actually on this whole edge, you know, we can make it all look beat up a bit. So there you go. You can see exactly what that does. You can use these smudge brushes. Uh, turn this down a bit. But you can kind of smudge things around. Get a, a nicer feel for things. Um, like that thing. You can smudge this around. There's also a blur tool if you want to blur things. There's a clone. There's a fill. Uh, whatever you need to do. And that's it. That's kind of the basics of it. So if you want to see the longer one, uh, you can find it here on the blog or on my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, go into much more details. See you in that one.